Good evening Philippines, this is Mike Padawa and we're back to our latest analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, June 8 to 10, 2022 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set now we issued tonight, Wednesday, until uh, tomorrow, Thursday the low pressure area 95W which is lingering over the Palau Yap area has dissipated for the past 24 hours and it's no longer here, it's just remnants being some thunderstorms across Palau and uh, Yap and over the eastern sections of the uh, Philippine Sea. And uh, right now there's no major weather system affecting the Philippine Islands within the next 24 hours. It's just the usual localized thunderstorms known as cumulonimbus, which will bring some afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms. Watch out for some lightning strikes, uh, flooding and uh, landslides in uh, hazard prone areas of the archipelago. And uh, there's no other low pressure systems or tropical cyclone formation in sight within the next uh, 5 to 10 days it's all clear based on the latest output of the various computer models and we just have here a surface trough south of Guam together with the uh, uh, intertropical convergence zone and up here across the uh, uh, eastern and southern China including Taiwan and the southern islands of Japan. We have here the usual stationary major front or the frontal system and it is slightly enhancing the uh, southwesterly winds across the northern portions of the West Philippine Sea and the northern portions of the South China Sea affecting the coastal areas of uh, southern China including Guangdong where Hong Kong is located. And so far that's the uh, latest Here's the uh, fast animation, as you can see, as the uh, evening uh, progresses to the early morning of uh, Thursday, we are seeing the dissipation of these thunderstorms across uh, areas like Mindanao and the northern Luzon area. Here is the zoom in satellite animation, uh, issued around 7 p.m. until uh, 11 p.m., issued around uh, this evening issued around this evening as you can see here are thunderstorm clouds dissipating across northern Luzon and portions of uh, Visayas and Mindanao and if we take a look at the rain forecast for the next three days until Saturday by uh, this afternoon by tomorrow afternoon Thursday we still be expecting some rain showers and thunderstorms in uh, various sections of the country becoming more frequent across Luzon, particularly the mountainous areas of northern and central Luzon, including Metro Manila. And on Friday afternoon, same situation will be expected across the uh, northern sections of Luzon, particularly Ilocos region and western Zambales, while uh, some chances of isolated rain showers and thunderstorms will be, expect will be expected throughout the archipelago. And on Saturday afternoon, same weather situation will be expected. Some thunderstorms across some sections of Luzon, including the Bigel region and eastern Visayas, while uh, other areas will have a lower chances of afternoon or evening rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly over Mindanao. And so far, that's the latest. <coughs> Now here's the rainfall accumulation for the next uh, three days. This is the forecast of the rainfall expected. So most of the rainfall are focused over Mindanao, Eastern Visayas, and the uh, mountainous areas of Northern and Central Luzon, particularly Ilocos region and the uh, areas of Pangasinan and the uh, Western Zambales. And if we take a look at the uh, uh, wind forecast for the next three days. It's all quiet, calm across various sections of the uh, archipelago. As you can see here on Thursday afternoon, it will be quiet, calm, and variable winds across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao with uh, easterly to southeasterly winds along the eastern seaboard of Luzon, while uh, southwesterly to southerly winds will be expected across the western seaboards of Luzon. And on Friday uh, afternoon, we expect uh, some light southerly winds over the Sulu Archipelago while calm conditions across the inland sections of the country. 
Slight southeasterly winds will be expected across the coastal waters of the Bicol region and southerly winds across the coastal areas of Cagayan Valley as well as the north and west Philippine Sea where southwesterly winds will be expected. And on Saturday afternoon, uh, still calm to variable winds will be expected across the country. Becoming southerly winds over Palawan and southern Mindoro, Sulu Archipelago, while uh, southerly winds will also be expected across uh, Cagayan Valley, the coastal areas, and some southwesterly wind flow across Batanes, Bubuing Kubawa Islands, and the western sections of Ilocos region, becoming more frequent here across the uh, uh, northern portions of the South China Sea, affecting areas of southern China including Hong Kong. And before we leave you, here is the latest global tropics hazards and benefits outlook of the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two weeks. For week one, valid June 8 to June 14, we expect below average rainfall or uh, below average rainfall to occur across uh, various sections of the country. So we will be seeing some decrease of thunderstorm activity across the Philippine Islands for the first week. And uh, that will be until June 14. And for, and for week 2, valid uh, June 15 to June 21, we expect a 50% probability of below average rainfall across the country. So it will be extending until June 21. So no tropical cycle information is in store through June 20th. Okay, so there you go. That's the latest for this uh, evening of Wednesday. And we will return on Friday to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always by hashtag WeatherWiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.